Hey guys, real quick, I want to show you how to use this new app for recording a screencast of your iPhone game. Use Open up your game. And in the background, we can also open up the Game Salad Viewer in Xcode. And normally you would have this set to device and released for the configuration. Uh, we're going to change that to simulator and debug and we're going to click build and run. Basically you're going to run through just like you were doing on your on your uh, actual device. You would uh, preview and now your whatever the name of your computer is going to show up. Once you click on that it'll load the viewer and uh, once you've got the game built under recent games, it'll uh, it'll show up in the simulator. It might take a couple times. Um, you might have to open and close simulator a few different times to get the uh, app up and running. Obviously, this one's from the last time I've done it here. Um, but once it is up and running, you can close out a game salad and just run it straight out of the simulator for your screencast. Um, and what we want to do first is just rotate this to match the uh, match the game. Rotate left. So you can see we're getting this white screen. This is what happens sometimes. I'm not really sure why if you just click the home button on the simulator and redo it seems to solve it okay so now we got it up and running so we're going to minimize Xcode and one of the options in soundstage is to set a custom background so I went into Illustrator and just built, built this background you'll see why uh, basically they're going to put the iPhone right here and record the screencast that way this information is available to everybody while they're watching the video which is nice to have so this is the whole interface for soundstage right here and basically it recognizes if you go under min menu you can say uh, calibrate but it pulls up the current simulator display and you can see that that matches that so that's fine uh, one thing I would recommend is coming in here and finger pointer for the iPhone recording. Set that to white so instead of the mouse you see a nice little white round circle once you start recording. And then uh, if you kick, click display options and we want to set iPhone, we want to set it as iPhone background. And then on backdrop up here, you can click select backdrop, and it's going to ask you to drag and drop your uh, backdrop that you've made into here, which is what I was just showing you a few seconds ago. So it gives you, once it starts recording, if the phone is in a portrait or landscape position. So this preview is a little incorrect. The phone's actually going to be rotated 90 degrees in the actual recording. So let's go ahead and just record something real quick. And once you've set that, you can exit out of it. And then it's easy as clicking the record button. It's going to give you a countdown. And now we are recording a screencast within a screencast. And so you can go through and preview the game. And this is my new game is coming out at the end of this month. It's in review right now. So end of March it should be available. Um, but basically once you're done recording, you'll get this little processing screen. And what it's going to do is take the video that it just... So once this is done processing, it's going to open up the folder and allow you to preview it. So here's the screencast or SoundSage iPhone demo that we just recorded. So you can see it takes what you've done and puts it over that background. And now this can be uploaded to 
Vimeo or YouTube and have yourself an excellent demo. Hope this helps, guys.